Kendrin collection. There are like, I don't know, 300 to 400 different types of philodendrons, and this is how many I have. I thought I had a lot more, but apparently I don't, which means that I need more. I also just realized I have a Marble Queen Pothos right here, which is not a philodendron, but I'm gonna keep it in the video anyways. I am gonna move a little bit closer and talk a little bit about them. All right, so this is a new particular order. I'm just going to start showing you the plants that I have. So here we have the philodendron micans. This is a very beautiful trailing plant. It is, for some reason, very popular in my city. It is such a beautiful plant. It's just in a little six inch pot. It has like the dark backings kind of and very velvety like front. Here is just a little pot that I made. It has some philodendron lemon lime cordatum and some Brazil philodendron. As you can see, this one's taken off pretty nice. It's a very pretty like lemon lime color and the Brazil philodendron has that very pretty stripe down the middle kind of. It's like the same color as the lemon lime. Next, I can't remember what this one is called. I have a feeling it's the just the philodendron green burly marks. Um, it has a, a lot of new little growth points in the back. And this guy is super easy to care for. So far, he just sits on top of my mantle that is actually north facing, but there is also a grow light there. Here is my philodendron Salome, Salim, uh, Hope. I don't know if they're the same plant. I actually have a very large plant, but I had to bring to my mom's. I will insert a picture here. Um, and this is just a very pretty, like, I don't know, I like the leaf shape. Um, it looks very similar to my philodendron Hope. And again, one that is very easy to take care of. Next up, we have the philodendron Birkin. It's a small plant. The dark green leaves with the white variegation or white leaves with green variegation. I'm not sure, a zebra, zebra. This is my second Birkin, my first Birkin. I had repotted it and it was not happy with me and it died. So this one has been doing a lot better. Keep your plants in nursery pots for as long as you can. This big guy, I have such a hard time trying to figure out where to freaking put it. Um, this is a philodendron imbi. Um, it was gifted to me by my sister-in-law. And yeah, it's like thriving, it's, it loves its life, it's always putting out a new leaf. I believe this is a brand new leaf, um, but it's big. <laughs> it takes up a lot of real, real estate, and um, as it gets bigger, I'm going to try to train it up a moss pole and see how that does it, but right now I just have it sitting actually on this shelf just back here. These leaves can get very big. I have a philodendron narrow, or maybe it's a tiger tooth, but I'm pretty sure it's a narrow. It is a fairly decent sized plant. There is a brand new leaf right here, and again, as this one grows too, I think I will try to train it up a moth pole. This is my philodendron imperial red. Um, it is like a very dark foresty green, but when the new leaves come out, they come out kind of like orangey and red. I think that's where it gets its name. This is a plant that wasn't really doing much for me and then I put it into my greenhouse and it popped out this brand new leaf and there's actually another leaf coming through right here. So I'm excited for that. And then this is a very sad philodendron imperial green. So it's supposed to kind of look like that one but more just very green. Um, I had put it in my greenhouse but it hated it. So I actually, that leaf, the one leaf it had turned yellow. But if you can see, there is a new baby waiting to show its beautiful self. So I can't wait. Right now I just have it sitting under a grow light and I took it out of the greenhouse. I'm not sure what it is. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. Below, It was sold to me as a philodendron Florida ghost, which is like a green. But I really don't think that's, that, that's what it is. There is a new leaf coming through. Um, this guy is also in my greenhouse but then this started to happen so I don't know if this leaf is just gonna go but I guess we will wait and see this here is a very compact philodendron Adam super Adam I believe um, it actually I got it from Walmart and it had no label on it so but I posted it on Instagram and a lot of people said that that's what it was um, it struggles but it's not like dead so um, it's it's it, it has its moments and once it gets bigger, I think it will be very resemblant to that philodendron hope. So I don't know, we'll, I will just have to wait and see. This could also be a philodendron hope, but a very immature one. This is my philodendron lemon lime cordatum, but it's trailing. This used to be very, 
long. Um, last summer I had put it outside and I did not like it and ever since it's just, it drops leaves. <laughs> so this is what's left of it and um, I try my best just to love it as best as I can. And it, there is actually, this is like new growth point here. So it's not dead and there's no new growth. So there's that. My very large philodendron Brazil, one of my favorite plants, a must have, easy to care for statement piece. This guy is fairly long. I cut him up all the time and like I can't get over these cute little leaves. I know everyone wants big huge leaves, but like honestly, this is like the cutest. I have this guy trying to train along one of my other cabinets and so far so good. I just received maybe a, about a month ago maybe this is just the philodendron cordatum green um, I think everyone has this plant except for me that's why I needed it so it is just a green leafed heart leaf philodendron um, I love I'm obsessed when there's new leaves super underrated plants that needs a lot more love in the plant community so the next three I saved for last because they're my favorite they are more rare or uncommon. I really don't like to use the word rare, but these are my last three in my philodendron collection. This right here is my philodendron gloriosum. It was a Christmas gift from David. It is such a gorgeous plant. It is an immature gloriosum. Um, as the leaves get bigger, the, in, the veins will be a lot more white. But for now, this is what we got. Um, after putting it in my greenhouse, we got a brand new leaf. Next up is my philodendron plowmanii, a green leafed plant. And sometimes it has a little bit of markings. This leaf isn't the greatest, but it is so happy in my greenhouse. And do you want to know how I know that? Look at that new leaf. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for this. It's absolutely loving its life in that greenhouse. I actually have two more, um, not just one more. This is my most recent purchase. This is my philodendron melanochrysum. It is tiny and I can't wait for it to grow, grow, grow. It is rooting very nicely in the sphagnum moss and that is a brand new leaf popping through. Very stunning, very velvety, and gorgeous. Kind of neon-y. The last one that I have here is my philodendron brandy, brandiatum cutting. It is gorgeous. It is a heart leaf, obviously, and it is like silvery. It has silvery, it kind of reminds me of like a Skindapsis um, exotica. There is a new leaf there, and it has a very beautiful, healthy roots. And I do believe there is another little leaf popping up right there. <laughs> this was gifted to me by a friend of mine in the plant community. Make sure you find plant friends that are awesome and gift you lovely things like this gorgeous cutting. All right, and that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below what your favorite philodendron out of my collection was. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram because I'm active daily there all the time. And until next time, XOXO, MM. Mwah.